Well, here we go, and here we are. We're back for the second season of Born a Musician. I'm Captain Hook, along with my good buddy, John Seda, and we're here for the second season of Born a Musician. How about it, John? How about it? I miss breaking plates. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that crashing sound in the background. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, it's been, uh, we've been off for about three months. I guess the last show we did was back in May, mm-hmm. and uh, we're getting ready to do another eight shows between now and, uh, between really- now and Christmas. We got some really cool guests coming up too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. very cool. Yeah, mention a couple of them. Who's we coming up? Well, we're gonna have uh, to, this is the the shocker. We're gonna <laughs> have uh, Warren Colasso from uh, the, the Dollhouse, the Dollhouse. Wow. We're gonna have uh, Harold Jones, who's actually next to us right now. And Harold Jones is in studio. We're gonna be. He's gonna be with us today, starting in the second segment. Yeah, Joey Jam, guy from the Bahamas, famous DJ. He's worked with everybody, Britney Spears, you know. It, and, Friends with Muhammad Ali. There's a lot of good stories coming. Oh out. yeah, I can't wait to see Joey Jam. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. And then we have uh, who else we did the, the, the oh we're gonna have the people from the Scorpion Mescal Company who's uh, supported a lot of the videos we've done. Right. And um, that's gonna be really fun. Doug French and Barbara Sweetman. And uh, the list goes on. It just uh, we're just really have some really cool stuff that's gonna happen. Yes, sir. And so there's a lot of been going on throughout the course of the summer. You're out playing live with the Harold Jones Band now. Oh yeah, I got I had to get hit in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you did. And we should mention that uh, one of the reasons that we took some time off was uh, you got injured. Yeah, I did, you know. I don't want to talk too much about it because I'm doing something about it right now. Well, that's right. There's some litigation going on about that. But it was, uh, it's been an interesting experience. Actually, it's kind of, uh, it's it's funny because uh, I tell people this and I'm going to be tell this to everybody out there. It just kind of opened a spiritual portal for me. I mean, it's just really weird. So, um, but, you know, with all that being said, um, everything is good. I'm uh, doing well. And uh, I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm playing with Harold Jones. Yes, sir. And so in the, in the uh, next segment coming up at 20 after, we're going to uh, be having Harold Jones come in here with us. Yes, they will. Uh, and he's going to do a couple songs live, I guess, with us. Huh? Yes, he is. It's going to be cool. It's going to be real fun. I'm excited about it. And I um, want to mention now to all the fans out there in um, Wesley Chapel, all the guys that come out to the gigs at Koozies, at the VFW, uh, Norma Bray, uh, Patsy Chavez, all those people out there. Thank you for coming by and checking us out. All right. Good deal. So uh, another thing, a bunch of things I want to talk about since uh, we've been off uh, throughout the course of the summer is, is one of the big news that was released last week was how uh, the Internet is uh, and downloads is looks like the future Bruno Mars they said they released last week uh, earned 117 million just off downloads off single downloads that's amazing and that's great yeah. I'm happy to hear that and so for all the young artists out there this is the direction you st- we're still getting a lot of people calling out will you sign us are you a label Folks, you don't want to be tied into a label, a record label. For, number one, you will never get paid. And number two, <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get in trouble at some point in time yeah, for saying gonna, that. They're going to send somebody after us. That's right. And they're, you know, they're 
gonna put the we're gonna, we're gonna be in the blacklist or something. Yeah. But uh, so you know, and and that's the other thing is the future of indie recording and uh, downloads is where it's at right now. I mean, this is what Bruno Mars took in himself: one hundred and seventeen million dollars worth of downloads. That's, that's awesome. His that's take. Awesome. That's that's great. That's that's really good news. Actually, the more they make, the better it is for the music. Yeah. And and the other thing that was good news about WDBF Radio is uh, I, I've just got an email from Wavestream, and they were d- giving me some of the statistics that now more than 50% of the people in the country are listening to Internet radio. Oh, yeah, that's the future. It, it's, it's not going to change either. No. I mean, that's, that's why even when you think companies like uh, SoundExchange.com, uh, they're doing a great job. They've raised $2 billion, $2 billion, right? Uh, that paid out to artists that have not been paid. You know, they've done it since 2006, so that's that's really cool. And it's all based on internet radio and uh, satellite radio. That's right. And 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 one of our primary uh, networks is Live 365, and of course, they have a deal where they pay out the artist. And um, so you know, that is the way in the future of music. It looks like right now because it's still in flux, and we're still riding this wave trying to figure out which way it's going to break left or right so yeah that, i think what it is they're learning I, I, there was some news the other day about uh, soundcloud which is interesting and i met the owner uh, many years ago back in 2010 and what was cool about it was is that um he, you know we had to have a question and uh, when we asked the question was my question was uh, basically um what was the future of the music industry and he kind of got blown away with the question, and we we hanged out for about an hour, and uh, it was only supposed to be a 15 minute interview, uh, and it turned into one hour. But the interesting thing was that I said to him, and I said, "Well, your your service is great and all that stuff, but how the how does it benefit artists as far as getting paid? I mean, people play music for free, but they're not getting any benefit from it. Well, guess what? They just announced that now they're going to have a platform that's actually going to pay artists and that's really cool you know that's good it's happening it took a couple of years to happen but i'm glad it's going in that direction so there's a lot more things going in that, that right way. a lot of things are going to shake out and uh we'll see how you know it, just like the internet radio we were talking before uh, half the people that listen to radio are listening to it on the internet now and that's a genie they're not going to be able to put back in the bottle you know no no and and the music industry you know it's interesting i get a lot of calls for people to you know to produce and they right away they you know they think that because i'm we're doing all these videos that we're doing recently like you mentioned before that i have a label and i try to explain to all the old school guys those days are never coming back they're mm-hmm. not coming back right so you got to get hip to it and me and uh, me and uh, uh harold were talking about it while driving home you know the other night you know coming from a place and it's saying, you know, you got to be, you got to do the Facebook thing. You got to do, you know, the YouTube. You have to do everything that gets you exposed because that is the new way. And, and if you don't get, if you don't get on that horse, you're, you're going to end up walking and walking backwards, basically. And right, right. And website design is a, is, is something that we've been fighting with, with WDBF radio and stuff. And then you, it, to stay relevant, you really have to stay on the cutting edge and out front, you know. Right. And that's something I'm like falling behind in a little bit. You have to. You have to really uh, keep updating it all the time and stuff. But when you're running a radio station and you're doing all this and stuff, it's you need a lot of help. You know what I mean? It's, it takes a village. It takes a village. You're right. It takes a village, and and people have to. I, I think what um, you know back when we grew up, you know that uh, there was that type village type of feel, that community feel, and that's kind of gone now. And mm-hmm. but I think it's starting to happen again. Um, I think it's you start- can see you yeah. can see it you can see it turning around because they they you know. Nobody knew what you were supposed to do. I mean, five years ago, yeah, okay, we've got all these Internet pages, and now what? But now they finally got it to the point where, you know, profit's coming in, and it's turning into uh, something positive. The only thing is, is that for musicians, they have to realize one thing. is One thing is not going to change. You have to be part business in this thing. If right, you don't think right. business, you're just behind the wheel. And, uh, don't, and don't be afraid to think about business. It, I, I, I always get these comments from sometimes I talk to guys, and they'll say, well, I don't want to lose my mojo, you know, because if I think business, I won't be, you know, I won't be into my instrument. I mean, that's not true. I mean, you get on right. the stage, and Harold Jones is a perfect example of that. He gets on stage, puts on his guitar, and he becomes his other guy. Right. So it doesn't matter what he does or whatever, and that's why I love playing with him, because when he puts on the guitar, it's, it's just it's no nonsense. You know, let's do it. Let's play. Let's, you know, let's, let's, have, let's have some fun, and let's, you know, do it for the fans. Well, he's going to be with us later in this hour, and we're looking forward to that. And, uh, 
and there's a whole bunch of other things going on. I mean, we've got a whole stack of music, artists and musicians and people in this uh, entertainment industry that's going to be with us this year. Mm-hmm. And it's a, a lot has been going on. I know you've been real busy at Rising Sun Studios. Mm-hmm. So uh, Yeah, we're doing a lot of productions now. Uh, the month of September is going to be like crazy. We're going to be working every single day. Uh, we're going to shoot, I think, four to five videos. Uh, the fifth video is just determined on a meeting, basically. But it's already, the guy wants to do it. And um, Sahara, Elena Sahara is back in the picture. She did a couple of classic songs, Moon River and uh, Summertime. And it was filmed, I believe, in France. It's right. a beautiful video. Those are going to be on, on the YouTube channel. And uh, we're going to be helping her to promote that because she's, you know, she's a very close friend of ours. And um, so there's a lot of exciting things. We're probably looking at really next month, maybe six, seven great videos that are going to be posted. Yeah, that's going to be great. We're looking forward to it. I'm excited about the new season. Boy, I'll tell you. Yeah. It's really something. And, and here we are. We've got to knock the, knock the rust off of myself, you know, because <laughs> Me too. I've, been, I've been doing a lot of producing and not so much on air. And uh, we're back. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, I, I've come back with, with, a, with, a, with a newborn feeling of playing live again. Oh yeah, and you're you're part of that. I mean, you know, you you know, uh, Steve is one to always say, John, you need to go play live again, man. What's up? And you know, and, and you know, then even Harold came up, and a lot of friends, and uh, and so now I did it, and I'm really happy. So that's that's a new phase of my life. That's right. Now the old guy gets out there and shows the young kids how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and so has he? T- uh, well, we're, oh, I'm going to ask Harold. Harold's sitting here next to us, but we haven't brought him in yet. We'll bring him in in the next segment. But boy, I got a question about John. I want to ask. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Steve. Steve is like a lo- loyal fan. So he goes, "Man, I'm pissed off at you, man. How come? How could you do the first gig and not call me?" And I said, oh, "Well, I didn't know what we were going to do. We we're just going to go show up and play." But it turned out really cool. And then, um, so uh, you're going to be at the. So we're going to have a gig uh, coming up but the San Ann Liquors and Steve's going to be there. Maybe, who knows, we'll do some interviews right there live on the spot. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll bring the uh, little re- pocket recorder and we'll do some out and man in the street type interviews, yeah. we'll see, you know, and see what's going on. But, uh, wow. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Well, you men- mentioned before Elena Sahara, if everybody remembers, she was the Russian, beautiful, talented girl that uh, came right. over and... Uh, worked with you in fact you collaborated with you for over six years time and we finally got to meet her last yeah, year when that was she really came. that was really really exciting and now you know she writes me more often because we're you know we're going to do be doing some more things uh we i believe she's going to be coming down in november and that's going to be a new experience and when that happens i think i want to get involved you know with harold and her do something like a duo that would be really cool you know so it's a lot of lot of um a lot of exciting things that are going on we're going to um I'm working also with a very interesting gentleman. Um, we didn't mention it before, but uh, uh, Andres uh, De Bono and his uh, lady uh, Doralis, who's a very nice, very beautiful singer. You know, both uh, vocally and you know the way she looks, she's just beautiful, young. And we have some really interesting things because uh, BornAmusician.com is going to go Spanish now. So he's going to be part of a, a thing that we're going to do, and you're going to know more about that. So that's really interesting, and, and we're tying into, uh, you know, working with Steve right to, to get more exposed, right, and to get more listeners. Basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you keep saying Steve, you should be saying Captain Hook because everybody on this show knows me as Captain Hook, and then Steve is like the guy that owns everything. Well, <laughs> Steve's the <laughs> alter ego. <laughs> yeah, Steve's the guy I know. Captain Hook is the crazy guy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you never know who's going to show up and, you know, say... Okay, I'll, I'll change it. Captain Hook. Yeah, Cap- <laughs> Captain Hook. Oh, yeah. And uh, and uh, and our good friend, Chia Okagawa, she went to Japan for the weekend. We, I mean, for the week, for the for summer. The, for the summer. Well, for the weekend. That's something right. you just don't do for the weekend. Right. But she went to uh, Japan for the summer. Maybe we'll get to hear from her and, and about her travels through the course of the season. Yeah, she had, a, she had a really busy summer. She was, like, all over Japan. Right. Yeah. And there's a new song coming out with her. Yep, yep. And so there's a lot of good things happening over here. I think we're going to go to our break a little bit early so we can we spend a little bit more time with Harold. I know he's itching to go and ready to go. But you're listening to Born a Musician on WDBFRadio.com.
I had a nickel. If I had a nickel for every rain delay. For every time my mom said I should have been an architect. A doctor. A lawyer. For every itch I couldn't reach. For every time I used fluid dynamics to reduce my drag coefficient. <laughs> for every time. For every time somebody joked with me about having gas. For every time I couldn't find my sunglasses. For every time I pretended a grocery cart was a race car. For every time. For four tires in Sunoco. Man, if I had a nickel. If you had a Sunoco Rewards credit card, you'd get a nickel for every gallon you pump. Go Sunoco. Nationwide is on your side. I've been saying that for years, but why should you believe it? Well, the Earnhardt family's been trusting Nationwide Insurance for more than 30 years. They've protected the Jarrett family for 40 years. And Nationwide Insurance puts members first because they don't have shareholders. In fact, they've been protecting the NASCAR family of drivers, teams, and fans for more than 60 years. Just goes to show you, this is a family business. To join the nation, call 877-NATIONWIDE. Nationwide is on your side. The future of daily news has arrived. Praised by communities across the USA, WDBFRadio.com and YourNews.com are expanding this exciting new way to deliver and obtain news and information all over the world. Along with all the major mainstream news, local, national, and international news, and with new alternative news you can't get anywhere else, YourNews.com allows the people in the community to publish your own information absolutely free. Along with free articles and event publicity, your news also offers free classified, free obituary, free business directory listings, free artist promotion, and free press release postings. Yournews.com is the place where you can write and read all about it. It's fun, it's informative, it's absolutely free. To see Yournews.com, go to WDBFRadio.com and click on Your News, and you'll see what we're talking about. Hi, this is Morgan Freeman. Has anyone ever said you are the picture of health? You look healthy, you feel fine, but that may not be the full picture. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cancer killer of men and women over 50. Since it doesn't always cause symptoms, you may not know you have it. The only way to know is by getting screened. Screening can find precancerous polyps, so they can be removed before they turn into cancer. This is one cancer you can prevent. Plus, Screening can find colorectal cancer at an early stage when the chance for a full recovery is very high. Talk with your doctor and get tested for colorectal cancer. Medicare and many insurance plans help pay for screening. Get screened. Make sure you are the picture of health. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Who are we? We are the thinkers. The job jugglers, the up all nighters, and the ones who turn ideas into action. We've made our passions our life's work. We strive for the moments where we can say, I did it. We are entrepreneurs who started it all with a signature. LegalZoom has helped start over one million businesses, turning dreamers into business owners, and we're here to help start yours. Uh, yes, sir. We're back for our first show back of the new season, second segment. Now in studio with us is Harold Jones from the Harold Jones Band. Her- Harold is get- coming back in and getting his stuff all squared away. He's going to perform live for us. And uh, we should say John Sade is also now part of the Harold Jones Band. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Harold, thanks for being with us today, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, man. One thing I wanted to ask you real quick. 
Have you ever seen him become the angry rocker on stage yet? Yes, I have. I've seen him take the, the guitar and put it behind his head and play it and play it with his tongue and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the playing with the tongue. I've seen the teeth part. But anyway, so great. We should say that, uh, Harold, your influence is pretty much uh, country western. Pretty much, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and country westerns come a long way in the last 20 years. I guess it's not, it, it, it hasn't, it's become more. Southern rock to me, anyway. Yeah, you know? I agree with you. Yeah, or you know? pop, yeah, like yeah. pop. I right. think the Eagles had a lot to do with that. I, mean, I, th that, that I think, well, the era of Garth Brooks when when he came out, you know, I mean, that kind of started the the rock show type uh, country right, the big, westerns, the, the, the big, big arena thing, right? Yeah. The big mm -hmm. productions mm -hmm. and stuff. But who was your influence, pretty much, with the? You know, I like George Strait, right? Um, uh, Mer Haggard, or George Jones, um, also. Um, the guy who I really, really have a lot of respect for is Brad Paisley. That guy's a monster. That guy's a fantastic guitar player and a great singer. I love that guy. Yeah, and since you mentioned, I should mention that my daughter Jennifer Lee is up up in New York with Brad Paisley yesterday morning Ooh. on Good Morning America. <laughs> so you know that was just a one of those weird deals that happened. But uh, you know we've got a couple songs. We're going to play a song here in a minute that. Uh, we're, I guess we're getting ready to do a video around the no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be, uh, we're going to shoot at the dollhouse. Ooh. The one on West Shore Boulevard. And uh, I hope it takes a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so do actually, I. <laughs> actually, we're going to have a special appearance of Captain Hook walking in the door with Harold, though. The entourage. The entourage Aye. is coming. Aye. There you go. Yeah, but, you know, I, I spent a many a years in uh, places like the dollhouse and uh, one of the best ones was uh, one in Fort Lauderdale, or in Pompano, rather. When, when they, uh, when you hear the Motley Crue song at the Dollhouse in Fort Lauderdale. Well, oh, we yeah. were we were there when Motley Crue was there. <laughs> wow, wow, that must be great. <laughs> we, we used to go before we'd go play. We'd go warm up at the Dollhouse with a few beverages, and you know, knock the edge off, and then then we'd go right from there to the gig. <laughs> get yourself all warmed up oh man you're ready to rock you know and i mean it's one of the few places that you could go where they got great music just a jamming and a playing anyway right so uh, we should be looking forward to that don't you think harold absolutely we get our motor running you know it that's right <laughs> well harold how long you've been how long you've been playing out and, uh, actually i've only been playing about six years um i've I had a, a pancreatitis and uh, it changed my life and oh, so wow. i got a second chance of life and I and I, I I told God, I don't regret what I did in life, but I regret what I didn't do in life. And He gave me a second chance to. And I told Him, if you let me live, I promise you, I'll I'll play music and make people happy. And uh, so, it did. And things came my way, and things turned around. And uh, I've done some stuff with Sandra Bullock in Hollywood and Betty White. I did a, the premiere uh, for the proposal, and that was pretty cool to hang out with those and, and walk down the the red carpet with everybody. You know. It was, not too, not too many people get the opportunity, but I did. It was great. Wow. I That's very that, cool. That was cool, man. Yeah. Hey, I'd yeah. like to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll do it all in slow motion. I don't, you know, <laughs> especially hanging out with Betty White, man, that just sends a chill up my leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah she's a great woman. She really is. And, uh, Boy, she's just the nicest person, you, one of the nicest person I've ever met. Every, really. time, every time I see Betty White, I think of my mother. My mother looked just like her. Really? Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep, yeah, just like her. Anyway, and so... Uh, so now you're you're out playing gig here in the Tampa Bay area. Tampa, yeah. Westy Chapel, yeah, the Tampa and, and uh, Zephyr Hills, uh, and also uh, Tonona Sassa. I think we got Koozies and Tonona Sassa. We're coming up this Friday. Then Saturday is San San and Liquor in San Antonio, San Antonio, Florida. Yeah, right. High fit too. But we we always have a blast. We, and and uh, John John knows we jump around and jump on oh, the, yeah. the chairs, jump on the tables. You so. want to hear something funny? Yeah. The other day I look at him and I says, "Come on, man, let's hit the floor on our knees, right?" Yeah. So we slid down on the floor on our knees, right? <laughs> he doesn't know, but I tell him afterwards. I started cracking up. I got this cramp on the back of my leg, and it started like a ball coming up. <laughs> But I was like a trooper, bro. Nobody knew what was going on. But then afterwards, I said, and then Harold says, "Yeah, I messed up my knee going down." Oh. But the people loved it, you know. You know. Well, you can't do these run and slide things when you get to be our age, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You yeah, know? but you can't help it. You want to do it anyway. You know? You know? We're young at heart, you know. We're yeah. young at heart. Oh, I was always the guy that ran across <laughs> the stage and was the mover and shaker. Not anymore. I'll, I'll die. <laughs> I ran across the stage. <laughs> so. Uh, where are you from originally? Originally from um, 
Texas. I was born in uh, Del Rio, Texas, right on the border of Mexico. My mother's Mexican, my father's American, so, you know, we got the best, both worlds, you know. Wow. Uh, that's great. Well, so uh, so pretty much your your influence of your music's always been uh, country, acoustic guitar type. Uh, exactly, yeah, yeah. I, you I, know, I, I would say Texas type music. Cause mm-hmm. Yeah, Texas, I would say te- that. Yeah, Texas yeah. has a different country western feel. I, I do say Texas is a different country altogether, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, it depends, yeah, it depends, on where you, yeah, yeah. depends on where you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but well, now it's gotten so big and the economy is so good in Texas that it, it really is. It it's is. become yeah. its own country. It you know? Yeah. You know? It's, it's I, mean, huge, I lived there. I lived there for three years. Yeah, people. I, yeah. I loved it. When I was flying, I spent a lot of time out in Texas. It was. I like the people out there. Great people, cool. exactly. Yeah. Great. Yeah, people. They like to the party. They like to have a good oh, time. Oh, you know yeah. that. Very friendly. And they don't very put up friendly. with no crap. Uh, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Straightforward. Yep. That's yeah. it. That's it. Well, what do you say? Would you want to play the no, no, no now, John, or what do you want to do? Yeah, we could do that. I want to yeah. do that. I think um, we give him a little, and then let him play a little live. Can I say mm-hmm. a little bit about it? Sure, um, sure. This was recorded at Rising Sun Music. I produced it for Harold. Um, we really put our passion and heart into it, and we actually did two versions because uh, we have a sponsor that's helping us with the video, which is Scorpion Mescal it's from Caballeros Inc. So we want to get a shout out to Doug French and Barbara Sweetman for helping us out. Yeah, thank that was, you. That was really, really cool. And so this version you're going to play is called the Scorpion version. All right. Let it rip. I think. <laughs> you never know around All here. All right, Captain I'm out of practice, man. I'll you start hitting His buttons. His hook is stuck on the, on the wheel <laughs> yeah. of the boat, you know. <laughs> yes, and, 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 you know, it's, that's, that's a whole other story. <laughs> it's a, it's a, all right, here we go. No, 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 no by Harold Jones. Head. I looked all around me and I was still laying in bed. A long, long hair girl, she was lying next to me. She turned around and smiled, said, Do you remember me? And I said, No, no, no. No, 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 no. We played that dude's box, oh, we played it soft and slow. Soft and slow. We danced all night, hey, on that wooden floor. On that wooden floor. You kept on saying, the dance a girl likes to hear What she likes to hear Went back to the bar And got another shot Scorpion the mezcal And I said No, no, no 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 Name girl, Lord, I can't remember mine. Not even mine. When I drink that much, was it, it happens, happens every time? Happens every time. Is that a ring? Are you married to a man? Yes, I am. She said, Yes, I am. <sighs> but I don't give a damn. And no, 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 Thank you. 
things turn out this way We got two young kids now Mortgage and a big old house And I'll never be happier Than I am right now And I said No, no, no No, no, no No, no, no Jones with the song No No No. Yeah, let me tell you how many applications that song could come in handy for. Tell you know, me somebody it. somebody asks you a question. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. You know? Got a little record button. The oh, no button. Uh, well, I have it on my phone, and I use. It. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. I want to mention also that uh, you know it's a great songwriting by Harold Jones. He wrote the song. Also, can't forget her. Can't forget my sister, my girl. That's Mariana Biondi on the background vocals. She did an amazing job, right? Brought that song to life. So I uh, wanted to put a shout-out to her. Matter of fact, we got to bring her in here one night. Yeah, you know? there you go. Yeah. Keep that list growing. Yeah. So, Mariana, if you hear me, call me. Well, now we're going to be blessed because uh, Harold's going to do one live for us. And I don't know. I, I, I'm not that familiar with this stuff I'm lo- because I'm a virgin to this. And uh, I can't wait to go out here. You're and, a virgin? Yeah, believe it. To this? Yeah, to, it's hard to believe I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I know, that's what like, there is. But I mean, to Harold's all of his music, right, other right. than No, 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 I really haven't heard too much from what you guys have done. I haven't heard any of the recordings that you guys have been doing. So I, I, And I've been keeping it that way, so it would be a, a surprise. And then I'm looking forward to going out and seeing you guys play next week and it'll be great i guess it'll be coming up this saturday night it's a, yep it's gonna be and that, where's that gonna be again harold it's in san antonio san antonio florida san ann liquor mm-hmm. yeah it's uh it's a fun place and where's that place. located tell everybody it's up there. there on 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 50 52 uh-huh and uh, san antonio it's uh right there is a corner i think uh i can't think of the other the other side street right uh, but it's uh is it's, that it's east, easy ride. east or west of 75 it's uh east East, east of 75, side. okay. There's a really pretty uh, new uh, shopping mall that they built up on that on that end. They're doing a there. lot of stuff out there. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. doing a lot of construction up there. Right. Yeah, they're widening the road and everything. All right, so what song are you going to do for us here? You know, I just think of maybe do a, a Garth Brooks song. Uh, the first time I heard this song, I was uh, down in McAllen, Texas, and I said, you know what? This song fits me. and I, well, It probably fits a lot of people. But, uh, but before I start with the song, I want to thank John for everything he helped we produced the, uh, the 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 album, the CD. Also, uh, we're the, uh, we're gonna be doing the uh, music video, and I want to thank him when we get done there. I'm very excited. I'm glad to have him on on my side. And also, he one thing a lot of people don't realize, uh, John is like in the trenches. I, what I mean by that, he's doing all the the new things coming up. He's he's on with the modern things coming up when it comes to the internet and everything like that. A lot of the guys are doing the old school stuff, and that like we were talking earlier. That just doesn't work anymore. It just doesn't. And he, he don't, knows the modern thing and, and all the way to produce somebody in, in the proper way to do it. So I, I'm just lucky to have known him, you know. Right. Thank you, bro. Appreciate right. That. John, I, 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 I will say, I say this. John has been on the cutting edge. He's brought me along in a lot of areas. And we've we've kind of learned some of these things together as, as we go. And we'll hopefully we'll stay on the cutting edge until we get so old we can't do it anymore. <laughs> the thing is, that what you just said a second ago, you're always learning with this stuff. It yep, just it yep. never stops. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's constant. Absolutely. All right. Without any further ado, here's Harold Jones. <laughs> And this old highway's getting longer It seems there ain't no end in sight Sleep would be best But I can't afford to rest I got a ride in Denver tomorrow night 
called the house, no one answered. For the last two weeks, no one's been home. I guess you threw with me. Tell the truth, I just can't see what's kept a woman's holding on this long. And the white line's getting longer And the saddle's getting cold And I'm much too young to feel this damn old All the cards are on the table With no waste left in the hole I'm much too young to feel this damn old Competition Getting younger Tougher Bronx, you know I can't recall A worn out tape of Chris LaDuke Lonely women and bad boots Are the only thing I left it on And the white line getting longer and the saddle's getting cold And I'm much too young to feel this damn old All the cards are on the table With no ace left in the hole I'm much too young to feel this damn old Oh, I'm much too young to feel this damn old All right, that was great. Oh, that was awesome. That was great. I am too young to feel this damn old. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you were just a whistling Dixie. I'll tell you now. Just out, just out of curiosity, Harold, how old are you? Fifty. Fifty. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the, new, that's the new 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what they tell me. The 60s, the new 40. Yay, Yay. baby. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't feel like I'm 50. I, I do. I feel a lot younger. I feel like I'm in my 30s. You, know? you, you, look, you don't look 50 at all. You've got that <laughs> ba- you. baby face going on yeah. there. Yeah. So uh, so what's, what's coming up? What do, you, do you have some new ideas and stuff? Uh, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, we, yeah. Got, we got, like, like John mentioned earlier, we got... Uh, we got something going on with the dollhouse and we got to write some more music and i've been writing music as well uh i start them but the problem is i got to finish them <laughs> you know, you know, right you know, I, 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 but I, I got a few uh pretty good songs coming up and so i'm looking forward to getting those done and maybe doing a video as well wow and you're going to be coming back with us in october when uh the, we were re, well i can't say it, release the video right, right? Mm-hmm. right. i believe we haven't set the date yet but it's probably going to be right around october 31st i'm thinking okay um halloween <laughs> not, you know what we might do i just thought about this barbara barbara so we've been if you're listening to me from scorpion Mescal, mm-hmm. we might do a little uh skull face thing you know for the dia de los muertos you know that would be kind of cool just mm-hmm. thought about that idea right now <laughs> You know, you ever seen it done when they paint the face like a skull? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the dead, day of the dead, right? Day of the day dead, dead, yeah. Because yeah. since since it's going to be Halloween, we might as well put one some picture in there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you don't want to say anything too rough about the uh, scorpion. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you that know. could happen to you. But right? let me tell you yeah. something. There's been some days after I've drank some of that, te- not their tequila, but tequila in general, to where I wake up and I look like. Uh, you know, Freddy, Freddy from uh, Iron Maiden. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, you tried. You've tried it before. It's yeah. really good well, the, stuff. The, right? the, oh, yeah. The uh, very smooth. Very, very smooth. smooth. That's what I always very say. Smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. yeah. You know, some of that stuff's like gasoline, but uh, no, this is <laughs> no, very smooth. No, Scorpion Mescal stuff. stuff is really good. I'm sp- I'm spoiled now. Yeah. I'm spoiled. Well, yeah, we got some samples, I guess, from Mescal, and there's, we there's made nothing good, left now. <laughs> <laughs> we made good use of it. We'll send a word out. We, we send in another shipment because we got another video to do. <laughs> yeah, I put in the hint the other day. I said, well, we're going to have a party. 
But uh, I got one bottle left, but I'm saving that for me and Harold. There you go. And All you right. and right. Captain and Captain Hook, because when we do that, because <laughs> when we do the yes, yeah, so he always says that. But he goes, well, you just oh. put a little bit right there. Okay, I'll take. I just uh, yeah, just a, a a little taste. All right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a quick break here, and we're gonna come back. Harold's gonna play another song for us, and we're just gonna keep on rocking on. If I can sit here and I'm getting my eyes are getting so bad I can't even see where I'm launching anymore. All right, here, beat your listening, born a musician on WDBFRadio.com. <laughs> If I had a nickel for every rain delay, for every time my mom said I should have been an architect, a doctor, a lawyer, for every itch I couldn't reach, for every time I used fluid dynamics to reduce my drag coefficient, <laughs> for every time, for every time somebody joked with me about having gas, for every time I couldn't find my sunglasses, for every time I pretended a grocery cart was a race car, for every time. Four tires in Sunoco. Man, if I had a nickel, if you had a Sunoco Rewards credit card, you'd get a nickel for every gallon you pump. Go Sunoco. Nationwide is on your side. I've been saying that for years, but why should you believe it? Well, the Earnhardt family's been trusting Nationwide Insurance for more than 30 years. They've protected the Jarrett family for 40 years. And Nationwide Insurance puts members first because they don't have shareholders. In fact, they've been protecting the NASCAR family of drivers, teams, and fans for more than 60 years. Just goes to show you, this is a family business. To join the nation, call 877-NATIONWIDE. Nationwide is on your side. My vehicle was sent six feet in the air in a ball of fire. I thought it was going to die. It uh, ripped my arm off. It broke my right femur. I took such a hard blow to the head that my retina was torn apart. Say a prayer for peace. I'm Trace Adkins. I want to tell you about these true American heroes and how you can show your thanks by helping them through Wounded Warrior Project. They've reached out to us as a family. And they never forgot about us. The job of helping thousands of our wounded warriors rebuild their lives is massive and growing every day. That's why your gift of just $19 a month is so important. Many of these service members suffer traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder. They helped me basically put my life back together. If it wasn't for Wounded Warrior Project, I would be a statistic right now. I would have been one of those soldiers who came home and committed suicide. I'm in the fields of Vietnam, the mountains of Afghanistan. Your gift today of $19 a month can help us provide the programs and services desperately needed by our wounded service members. Call or go online with a pledge and you'll receive this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. Make that call now. Say a prayer for peace. The future of daily news has arrived. Praised by communities across the USA, WDBFRadio.com and YourNews.com are expanding this exciting new way to deliver and obtain news and information all over the world. Along with all the major mainstream news, local, national, and international news, and with new alternative news you can't get anywhere else, YourNews.com allows the people in the community to publish your own information absolutely free. Along with free articles and event publicity, your news News also offers free classified, free obituary, free business directory listings, free artist promotion, and free press release postings. Yournews.com is the place where you can write and read all about it. It's fun, it's informative, it's absolutely free. To see Yournews.com, go to WDBFRadio.com and click on Your News, and you'll see what we're talking about. Who are we? We are the thinkers, the job jugglers. The up-all-nighters, and the ones who turn ideas into action. We've made our passions our life's work. We strive for the moments where we can say, I did it. We are entrepreneurs who started it all. With a signature. LegalZoom has helped start over one million businesses, turning dreamers into business owners. 
and we're here to help start yours. You're listening to WDBFradio.com, a tune-in station. Breaking stuff. Here we are. Second season, breaking stuff. <laughs> well, anyway, this is Captain Hook along with John Seda, and we're in the studio today with uh, Harold Jones from the Harold Jones Band, and you can go where haroldjones.com, right? Haroldjonesband.com. Haroldjonesband.com, and you can check out uh, the gig dates on there and all the other stuff, and uh, you going to do another song for us? Sure, I could do one. Yeah, I got, I got, I got a real pretty song, and this song really means a lot to me. I, I never, I always say it so many times, but I, I never realized to you really listen to the lyrics how, uh, how it, they've impacted my life and many others. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. Looking back beyond the memories of. The dance we share beneath the stars above And for a moment all the world was right And I could I have known that you'd ever say goodbye And I'm glad I didn't know the way it all would end The way it all would go It's my life I better left the chance I couldn't miss the pain But I did had to miss Nothing And holding you, I held everything. And just for a moment, I wasn't I king. And if I'd only known how the king would fall, you'd say, you know I might have changed it all. And I'm glad I didn't know The way it all would end The way it all would go Yes, my life I better left the chance I couldn't miss the pain But I did had to miss Nothing that Yes, my life, I better left the chance I couldn't miss the pain But I'd have had to miss the day Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely that's, beautiful. Ooh, that's got to be one of my favorite songs. <laughs> oh, boy. You can tell you put your heart in that. You can you can tell when somebody likes oh, something yeah. they you do. Know, the you hair know? starts standing up. Oh, yeah. And all, you know. Oh yeah, almost brought a tear to my eye, man. You know? <laughs> Captain Hook is crying in the house. Yeah, not, not quite yet, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I do play from my heart. I really do. You know, I just you know, I get up on stage. I don't just get better to play. I play from my heart, and uh, I I really enjoy. It. It's kind of therapy for me, you know. Right. A lot of it's therapy. Yeah, right. It really is. Yeah. Well, but boy, I tell you, what would you do before you be, were was a, a singer, a songwriter? Well, I um, automotive. I had an automotive business in Tampa, mm-hmm. and uh, we moved up to Wesley Chapel, and we still run a little uh, small business in Wesley Chapel. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, that that's a uh, that's a that's a tough that's a tough. It's a lot easier 
uh, singing in plane than it is working on cars. Well, you know, <laughs> <tell you> that. <laughs> some pe- some people might say just the opposite. You know, it's re- it's easier to have a regular day job, but to be a, a musician, especially in this day and time, and go out and take a, a risk that you've taken. I mean, you got a later start in in life mm-hmm. performing. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So, for anybody out there that feels like that they want to go out there at, at a later part in their life and start doing something like that. By all means, give it a go. You only got one life. Make the most of it. Well, that's, that's what that's one thing that you just brought that up. That's what happened to me. And like I said, you know, I was literally on my deathbed, and uh, just remember, like you you just said, uh, you you don't want to look back. I want to look back in life and say I was able to do what I did, and and say if whether it worked or didn't work, at least I tried it. You know, and uh, you got one chance and one shot to do it. Just take advantage of you can. It's, like you said, it's never too late. It's never too late. Do that's it. right. Do it now. That's mm-hmm. right. Just do what your heart tells you to do, right? Yeah, that's basically, right. Basically. And in the, in the angry rocker's case, just keep doing it. You know yeah, what I mean? Get back stuff. out there. Get the rust off and jam, <laughs> jam boom, baby. <laughs> Captain Hook put this name on me, the angry rocker, but now he's starting to become an angry rocker when he's starting to find all this music news that he wasn't even expecting. That's right. I told him the other day, that's why I don't like what's going on, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, oh, you know, I wanted to put a shout out because this yeah. lady is a very special lady. She follows Harold around, and I, I got to do it because I mentioned some other people's names before, and if I don't mention her name. Oh, yeah. I already know what you're t- thinking about. Go ahead. Elsie. Elsie, exactly. What's her last name? Elsie. I don't know. I just but you know Elsie. 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 Uh-huh. Elsie. Elsie. You, like you know, you know uh-huh. she's a big fan. She is. We she love really you. is. Oh, uh-huh. that's great. That's great that she follows you around from oh, place yeah. to place. Oh, yeah, she's, a, yeah, she's like my mom, you know. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very cool lady. Very cool lady. Well, shout out to Elsie. Keep it coming. Keep all them cards and letters coming. <laughs> so, so. So, the next. Harold. Harold. Uh, so, we, we know you got your gigs coming up. What, uh, what else is uh, coming up? Uh, real close by here that you want to plug or you want to plug the website and everything well yeah like I said we have the website um, also we have the you know the Facebook thing going on you know um, and again it's, it's uh, haroldjonesband.com and we can see all the dates and also you'll, you'll see pictures and stuff like that that's on there uh, so it's pretty cool and um, you know again I'm lucky to have uh, these guys be behind me uh, great bass player Mike uh, Calabrese. Calabrese, yeah, he's a he's a great. Yeah, you had to come and see him. He's he's incredible. I'm playing on it. He really he's is. He's bad to the bone. Mm-hmm. He really is. And uh, like I said, and I and we have uh, you know John again, you know, playing the lead guitar, and sitting. And I know that he's, you know, he's he's, he's come along pretty good though. But uh, yeah, we so we've been uh, doing some more practicing, and we know a little bit more. But we're doing really good. I'm excited. Much. So uh, I was going to say too that you can go to facebook.com forward slash no 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 music video. We have a Facebook page, fan page for the music video, so you can get all the information when the video is going to come out, the shootings, the pictures that are happening, and all that good right. stuff. Right, and you can also go to Born a Musician One YouTube channel too, right. and you'll be able yeah. to catch it on that. Yeah, that would be cool too if you guys can subscribe, because then you'll know when the video comes out. We had a, quite a few people subscribe last week, and that was really cool. Yep. So everybody, if you can go there, subscribe, that helps us out. And it also every time somebody subscribes to the channel, it helps a musician to make money because right. uh, the artists make money from the views. And this is a really cool thing. So that's a good thing to do. So please subscribe to us. It helps the artists and it helps everybody. And it, and plus, you get to see something cool and funny. So this this video is going to be funny. It's going to be it's going to be. Uh, and there's going to be, gonna be, be g- good. There's going to be good looking girls in it too. Oh my god! Oh yeah, yeah. you ain't lying. I already had a, <laughs> You ain't lying. We had a lineup the other day. <laughs> yeah. It was very 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 pretty. Yeah. Very nice girls actually. Very nice girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very pretty. You know, when you think of the dollhouse, this is you're talking a high end. Uh, uh, upscale, upscale type uh, type well, uh, uh, gentleman's club. It's yep. not. It's not one of these sleazy places. No, no. Know? It's very classy. No. And uh, say uh, Warren Colasso is a part owner of it. He said that um, they were nominated the best club of the year. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So um, that's pretty it's heavy. Wide, I think. Yeah. I can believe it. Well, Harold, Harold Jones. Thank you so much for being with us. We look forward to you coming back with us in October. And uh, of course, I'll be out there with you guys, and we'll. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys live. Especially oh, yeah. John here. I got to mm-hmm. see, you know. I, I got to see my boy play. <laughs> the angry rocker. <laughs> the angry rocker. I'm, I'm going to see if he goes out there and, you know, 
throws down and slides across the ground and puts knee pads on this time. You <laughs> yeah, know? put some knee pads yeah. on. Yeah. Are you you guys using wirelesses when you do that? No, no, <laughs> actually, he does sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes he yeah. does. Yeah. I I find wireless to be weird, but yeah, you know, but because it changes the tone of the guitar. But you yeah. know. all right, I want to say one thing before we go. Sure. I want to thank all the fans who supported us. And uh, it means a lot to us. If it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't be where we are today. That's Thank right. you so much, and God bless you. That's right. You got to have the fans. You got that. That's number one. Is the number fans. one? Absolutely. That's right. All right, you guys. We'll be back for the second hour. And this, you're listening to Born a Musician on WDBFRadio.com. <laughs> The future of daily news has arrived. Praised by communities across the USA, WDBFRadio.com and YourNews.com are expanding this exciting new way to deliver and obtain news and information all over the world. Along with all the major mainstream news, local, national, and international news, and with new alternative news you can't get anywhere else, YourNews.com allows the people in the community to publish your own information absolutely free. Along with free articles and event publicity, Your News also offers free classified, free obituary, free business directory listings, free artist promotion, and free press release postings. Yournews.com is the place where you can write and read all about it. It's fun, it's informative, it's absolutely free. To see Yournews.com, go to WDBFRadio.com and click on Your News, and you'll see what we're talking about. What if you served and sacrificed for your country, but couldn't get the specialized care, military benefits, and career opportunities you needed? Chris Sullivan was shot and paralyzed in Iraq and now needs our help to get back into life. Paralyzed Veterans of America is on a mission, Mission Able, to help our seriously wounded veterans get the care, benefits, and jobs they've earned. Join the mission now for America's Paralyzed Veterans at mission-able.com. Who are we? We are the thinkers, the job jugglers, the up all nighters, and the ones who turn ideas into action. We've made our passions our life's work. We strive for the moments where we can say, I did it. We are entrepreneurs who started it all with a signature. LegalZoom has helped start over 1 million businesses, turning dreamers into business owners, and we're here to help start yours. Tune in to J.J. and Sam in the morning show. You might hear things like this. Week is winding down and our weekend is... Winding down, that's my busiest day. Well... Friday is my busiest day. We've committed to uh, spending this much money. And you had to, you idiot. I'm going to my volume. I'm going to down because I was He's mumbling. God only knows what he's saying. He, he, sometimes he scares me. Does he? Yeah, because they never know what he's going to say. <laughs> you think maybe he... Yeah, he's like a, he, a jack in the box. You think he did too much marijuana when he was a kid? <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he still is a kid. I like this Yorkie I have over here. It's just, you know, <laughs> pumping in, 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 in thin air. I mean. JJ and Sam in the morning. 8 a.m. till 10, weekdays. Here at WDBF Radio, our days begin with Ibis in the Morning at 6, followed by J.J. and Sam at 8, Herman Cain at 10, The Dick Farrell Show at noon, The One Word with Margaret Nicoletti at 2, and live from Gulfstream Park and Casino, it's Post Time with J.J. Grassi at 4. Our other shows at night are Captain Hoke's Music Hour, The Music Makers with Skitch Henderson, Sounds of Brazil, The Great Sounds with Ray Otis, and join us for our weekend morning lineup, Bobby Likas Car Clinic, and Sunday Church Service from Feather Sound Community Church. So keep it tuned in to WDBFRadio.com for all your listening needs.